Here comes the Here comes the Here comes the Y'all don't really worry like G'day folks, welcome to the first instalment of the Brothers Weekly Wrap for 2017, proudly brought to you by Australian Sports Nutrition in Cairns. Uh, round one of the competition uh, got underway on the weekend as we took on arch rivals the Ivanhoe Knights uh, in what in the A-grade game was a replay of last year's grand final. Uh, they, got, they got off to uh, not the greatest starts, our under-19 side went down uh, to Ivanos, uh, 46 points to 28 in what was probably one of the bravest efforts seen in a brother's jersey actually. Uh, we only had nine take the field. Uh, our under-19 side's fairly well decimated with players away on representative duties with the Northern Pride. Uh, but nonetheless, we utilised two of our most promising under-17s, Jai Doherty and Billy Flynn, who stepped up and performed really well and a special effort from Jefferson Pablo, who was injured and shouldn't have taken part in the game, but uh, typically put in a, an A-grade performance. Moving into the reserve grade clash, uh, again, not quite strong enough on the day, going down to last year's grand final, Sivano's, so uh, 32 points to 22. It was a bit of a seesawing game in that uh, tries went tit for tat, but Hose kept the nose in front the whole way through, and, and unfortunately we're in front at the end when it mattered the most. Uh, moving into the A-grade game, uh, it was a welcome return to the two Tognolini brothers, uh, Gabriel and Peter, uh, and also to Mitch Bandicooch, who spent a year over with Ruse. Uh, we also welcomed to the club for the first time Peter Tuck and Digi, down from Osman, uh, lightning quick. And also, uh, just last week, we've welcomed Troy O'Sullivan, who's got an extensive history playing with the Ipswich Jets in the Entrust Super Cup, so he'll be a, hand, a very handy acquisition with their game on the weekend and also introducing to the club Mings Ormsby who's had an extensive career playing down in Sydney, uh, playing in the Sydney Cup competition uh, down there so he's going to be a very handy forward acquisition. For round one clash uh, both sides plenty still to work on but really put their best foot forward. Uh, we were able to get out to a 16-4 lead uh, but unfortunately we weren't able to hold on to it with Ivano scoring two quick tries at the death in the last 10 minutes, crashing over through Matty Hancock and then again out wide off a kick. And a sideline conversion uh, with a minute to go to uh, level the scores. Uh, but as coach Robbie Swain said on the day, it's, it's good to only be one point behind first place on the ladder. So plenty of benefits, uh, positives I should say, to take out of the game. Uh, some of the, the best on the day were young Evan Child stepping up into a starting position in the halves. He took the game by the scruff of the neck, scoring a try and laying on a couple of others. So expecting big things from Evan this year and he certainly started the season well. Uh, only Sour no doubt of the game for us, despite letting the lead slip at the death. It was a, a really early season ending injury to Lockie Parmenter. Pride coach Ty Williams has talked the praises of Lockie for how he's performed all the way through the pre-season and uh, Lockie himself is looking forward to a really big year this year but unfortunately he's been cruel with an ACL rupture and his season's done but uh, being young, fit, he, uh, he's got plenty of time ahead of him to bounce back and uh, get back on the paddock this time next year. Turning our attention to this week, uh, always a very tough road trip heading over the range to Yarrabah. Uh, unfortunately no second division this week, but our under 19 reserve grade and A grade will all be heading over with uh, hopes fairly high, but as I said, always a tough place to go. And uh, Yarrabah will be really buoyed by the performances on the weekend up in Mossman, coming away with a pretty comfortable 28 points to 12 victory. Uh, they're also aided by the addition of Hezron Merga uh, back from his stints with uh, both the Northern Pride and the Towns of Blackhawk. So, as I said, certainly going to be a very tough road trip, uh, but we'll definitely be going over there nice and confident that we can come away with the two points. Uh, fingers crossed that's the case, and until next week, go the fish.